Do you have a need for power at the campsite or while on the go? Well, get ready as we review the Tecos 300 watt portable power station in today's episode of the Northwoods. Hey there, welcome back. If you're new here, I'm Corey. And our friends out at TechOS reached out to us and asked us if they could send us a power station to give our honest opinion about. And of course, we said yes. But before we jump right into it, I ask that you take a moment, hit that subscribe button, set that bell to all so you get notified of more RV travel, tips, tricks, and everything else RVing. So let's face it, we live in a connected world and we have an array of different devices that not only competing for our time, but what power is available. At the same time, more and more people are enjoying the outdoors, traveling, put in an increase on portable power. So let's go ahead and we'll take a closer look at what this unit has to offer. Oh, and I'm also interested how you would put a power station like this to use on your next adventure. So go ahead, drop it down in the comments and let me know. I'm seriously interested. All right, so included with the unit, you get the wall charger to be able to charge your power station. You get a carry strap that you can use to carry the unit over your shoulder when you're out in the field as well as a USB-C to USB-C charging cable. I think it's really nice that they went ahead and included that because not everyone's gonna have a cable to be able to charge from the USB-C port. So a closer look at the unit, we have our 110 volt plug right here. We have our input where we can charge the power station. And then we turn it around here and take a better look at this side. We have our display panel right here. We have some USB charging ports. We have a light that can also be used as a trouble light, as well as some 12 volt ports. Here both a plug-in port there, as well as two 12 volt three amp plugs. Okay, so we're gonna give this thing a workout right off the bat. First thing we're gonna try out is this little electric ceramic heater. Not really sure how much power this draws, but we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna plug it in to the back here. And you can see right now, it's drawn zero power. So we'll go ahead, we'll turn him on. And the fan on this unit came on immediately. But it is power in it. Oh, this does have a little safety shut off that you can, it'll shut off if it tips over. So you can see as that's starting to warm up, our watts here of power usage is climbing up here. We'll see where it stops out. Okay, it seems like it stopped here right around 217 watts power usage and that thing is kicking out some heat. Might be a good option if you're a van lifer. Just need a little something to take the chill off inside your van. Um, don't have to worry about propane fumes, carbon monoxide, things like that. A little electric heater, it does kick off quite a bit of little heat. But we're running 217 watts right here. So let's go ahead and we'll plug in the next thing. Let's go ahead and plug in our little GoPro down here on the USB port. So let's turn him on. And we'll go ahead and we'll plug our USB-C cable in. We have USB-A on this side. See that GoPro is charging. Watts haven't really changed a whole lot. 216, 217. That GoPro doesn't really use a whole lot. That port maxes out at five volt DC. So the next thing we'll plug in, we have our DJI Pocket 2 camera that we use. And we're gonna plug this one into the USB-C charging port right here. You can see he is charging right here. Now the USB-C port right here is a power distribution port. So it has the capability of being able to change the power and the amount of watts that come out of this port to match the device that's plugged into it so that it's smart when it comes to charging your devices. It's also worth noting that this has a pure sine wave inverter um, inside of it. So all of the voltage that comes out for your charging your devices and and as well as the 120 volt coming out the back is all clean power. You don't have to worry about it being dirty at all and damaging your devices. Some devices are real finicky if it's not pure sign uh, power coming out. 
Also right here, the unit has a light built into it. Now this is a really good work light. You can see me here and turn him on as well. Uh, so it's got a real nice light. You poke it again, it actually can work as an emergency trouble light as well. That's good. You have a 12 volt uh, charging port here that you can plug in if you have a charger for a drone or um, maybe a laptop, whatever you can plug into there. And there's also two other 12 volt, three amp uh, outlets here that you can plug other devices into as well. And you see right there, we're still, we're charging two devices and running this little electric heater. We're running 217 watts, well within uh, the capabilities of this unit. And uh, it's doing a great job. So let's go ahead, we'll turn him off. And our next test is maybe another item that uh, maybe campers and van lifers may be interested in. This one here is a little personal sized crock pot. Uh, I like using these for lunches at the office. It has a little inside liner that kind of comes out to be washed. It has a little seal that you can put on there so if you put soup or whatever in there it's not sp splashing around in your lunch box. But this here is really nice. You can put a can of soup or stew inside of this here. It only takes about yeah, about a half hour or so and it's piping hot and ready to eat. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to plug this into the back. I have no idea how much power this uses. So I'm kind of curious whether or not this will be similar to the heater or not. So here you can see we plugged it in. Our lights came on here on our crock pot. And uh, wow, this little unit right here only is pulling, along with charging our other two cameras here, is only pulling 47 watts. That is, that's incredible. That this little unit only pulls that much with a heating element in there. Now this isn't like a, like an oven. It's like a crock pot. It's a warmer. It's a food warmer. But it does really good warming up soups, stews, things like that. Uh, that you can put in here from the can. And you could go ahead, you could put this on here. Travel days, plug it into this. And when you get to where you're going, you have a hot meal ready to go. You don't have to worry about cooking up anything. So this right here is pretty cool that that uses only about 45, 46 watts of power to run that. I'm really impressed by that. So I think this is a great little unit. It should have more than enough power to handle everything that you're going to want to charge while you're out in field camping or uh, in your tent or RV boondocking. It can also handle this crock pot for warming up meals pretty well. I'm not sure how it would do with a, a larger crock pot, but this one here works really well. This is a personal sized one. And even occasional use if you had to uh, take the chill off in your van or um, small camper. A little heater like this here that doesn't draw a lot of power uh, is more than capable of running it for a handful of hours. So I think that this is a good value for the money. Um, looking on Amazon compared to other models, this one right now is running about $159. I think that's a fantastic value for what you get for that. I have to say I'm pretty impressed with what a power station this size is capable of. I also really look forward to putting this thing to a test while we're on the road this summer. So keep an eye out. I'd like to come back and revisit this after six months and see how it's held up. That's all I have today, but I hope you found this helpful. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And remember, comment down below how you would put this to use on your next adventure. And until next time, if we don't catch you on the road, we'll see you in the next video.